Okay, thank you. So starting from this equation, let's try to derive this one. And I think this is the form uh, was in the original paper by Hiller and uh, his collaborators. I don't remember the... So some uh, constants that you may need, I guess. So what is C eta? C eta is what we called before eta bar, so it's just eta over S. C pi is tau pi times the temperature T. So you need these constants. Okay. So one hint, which equation can be used in these squares? The first one or the second one? The second one, right? This term is here. So the first step is to multiply by Tau over epsilon. Yes. Um, yes, but I'm sorry. So Mike is using the big pi to mean the little pi. Sometimes, um, so it's the same thing. It's the, just the shear, okay? So I, I usually use pi and, and pi like this. In the notes, I think Mike is using this and, and this. So it's always the shear fiscus, not the bulk, because we are in conformal, in the conformal limit, so the bulk is zero. So it's the same, sorry. Again, like yesterday, you can talk with your friends or ask me if you have any question. So the first hint is to mul multiply by tau over epsilon. And then epsilon will be here, but we need entropy. How can we get that? So you need to write the energy density in terms of the entropy. And then you will see the C, pi, the C eta Done? Or you have a... Okay. And then you will see in the other terms that you have this little pi, sorry. Over epsilon. Pi over epsilon. Then you can use the first equation. And this is the equation you see in the attractor papers. So it's important to derive the step by step.
If you are stuck in any point, just ask. So again, E plus P is just TS, right? P is E over three. So I just four E over three equals TS, right? Then E is three TS, three TS over four. That's another hint to use. If you are done, let me know.
Do you need more time or we do it together? So, as I said before, let's multiply the first equation by uh, tau over epsilon, then partial tau pi equals 4 eta over 3 tau tau pi times tau over epsilon. We can see this tau cancels this. And then minus beta pi 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 over epsilon. And again, tau will be canceled. And we will have here minus pi over epsilon. And then tau over tau pi. OK. Now, the energy density, this term, becomes 4 over 3 tau pi, then eta over S 3t times 4. Is that clear? So this term becomes 16, right, over 9, and then tau pi times t is c pi, and then eta over s is what they call c eta. And of course, times the temperature. So this equation becomes for uh, 16 over 9t c eta over c pi minus what? Oh, sorry. Yes, yes. So just 16 over 9, C eta over C pi, yes. Then minus eta pi pi. Pi over epsilon is 4 times phi minus 2 thirds minus tau over 2 tau pi times 4 phi minus 2 thirds. Now the left hand side is 4 omega phi phi prime plus 16 phi minus 1, right? times phi minus 3. So phi minus 1 times phi minus 2 thirds. Okay, now we can expand uh, each side. So if we expand this one, then it's four omega phi phi prime plus 16. I will just write it in the final form. It should be easy. So plus uh, phi squared minus 5 over 3 phi plus 2 thirds. So this is the 
left side, they just expanded these parentheses. So phi squared minus two thirds phi. And so if you expand it, you get this term. Now we can define by four, both terms. So we will have on the, left, on the right side, uh, four over nine, C e to C pi minus pi phi. Um, no, you mean here, right? Oh, yes. Yes, we have four here, sorry. Yes. Now, expanding this side as well, And if you multiply by C pi, I think we're almost there, right? And to combine the similar terms, we almost arrive to that equation. So multiply by C pi, reorganize the terms, and you will end up with this equation. Okay? For example, this term going to the left will be minus, minus four over nine, and then C eta, because we already multiplied by C pi, and similarly, the other terms. Any questions regarding this? Well, tau? Because we multiply by tau at the beginning. This one? Um, it must be, you see it? Okay. Okay. Okay, so, now let's, since we derived the attractor equation, now let's move to this lecture today. And the first exercise should be easy but important if you want to understand the anisotropic distribution function. So, Starting from, this is related to lecture, uh, to today's lecture. If you start from
over lambda. In the lecture today, Mike called it capital gamma. I will call it lambda just to uh, distinguish. Show that it can be written as F And the question, find what is this gamma after the rescaling? And also, what is 1 plus Kc? And to remind you, this Kc tensor is just u mu, u nu, plus little Kc where this Cassim you know in the local rest of frame is zero. Again, my, uh, Mike today used, I think, gamma over two. Let's use minus Cassim z over two, minus Cassim z over two, and then Cassim z. So if you look at an isotropic hydrodynamics papers, you'll usually see the distribution function written in this way. So there is some transformation going from this one to this one. So you need to expand this one. And you will see some rescaling of lambda going to gamma. So what is gamma in this case after the rescaling? And what is 1 plus Kc? So here I changed the notation from minus gamma. I think he used gamma over 2, gamma over 2. It's the same thing. should be easy, but usually the distribution functions are written in forms like this one or more complicated. But the idea is, is, semi, is exactly the same. So let's go from this one, try. So it's only expanding this one. Is it clear, the question? OK. So again, the only component surviving from the tensor is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So just expand, rearrange the terms a little bit, and you should be able to find And this equation, try to derive it if you have time later on, since you can ask me. But it's, a, it's important. And easy as, as well, I guess. Long, yes, but clear steps.
Yes. This one. So it's minus kc z over 2. Minus kc z over 2. Do you remember the ideal, ideal not the ideal? One of what? Of kc? No, this is just some terms. Do you remember in, do you remember pi xx, pi yy, do you remember these? So it's similar, but I just call them z over 2. But since it's a trace list, this has to be, you know, z plus these two should be 0. Because the tensor is traceless. But the notation is, is fine. You can use it's similar to this. Any of you finished? Okay, one, two, three minutes more. So what is the first term after the contraction? OK. So it's p squared in the conformal limit, OK? Or b0 squared. What is the second term? So we'll have px squared and then Minus kc z over 2. Similarly, for the y, py squared minus kc z over 2. And then plus bz squared times kc z. So these are equal, and we'll just call them the transverse pressure, so P uh, transverse uh, momentum, so P uh, squared.
Now this one is, I think, uh, call it T maybe. No, I think the same notation. So P squared plus PZ squared. Okay. Now we will pick, so we will have one plus, uh, sorry, one minus CZ over two times the transverse momentum plus one plus CZ P Z squared. Okay. Oh, this is just the magnitude of the momentum as an effector, right? So it has. So A squared is just the square root of A X squared plus A Y squared plus. Uh, sorry. Yes. Yes, but the energy equals P squared plus M squared. Yes, so it's conformal. So M is zero. Then E is just P squared. E squared is just P. When you said that PX squared is equal to P per squared, and you meant PX squared plus PY squared is equal to P per squared. So P squared. Yes. Equal PX squared and equal PY squared. They are equal. Oh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, plus. Yes. So, Now by taking this back under the square root and taking this as a common factor, so what we will have is So back in the square root, so we have as a common factor one minus CZ over two. And then the P squared plus one plus CZ over this thing one minus CZ over two times PZ squared. over lambda, right? So this is the distribution as a function of this thing. So what is this? This becomes what? One over lambda. And this thing becomes what? One plus C, right? Now, in general, and the distribution function we are using in the code is more complicated, but it's it's similar. So it's alpha i squared. Px squared plus alpha, uh, alpha x squared plus alpha y squared, P but the 
the, the method itself is, is similar to how to go from the uppercase C to, to this notation. Okay, any questions? Any questions regarding this one? So now we have the last exercise, should be easy. So Mike today in the lecture de uh, derived that E, uh, sorry, E is uh, R as a function of Cassi times the E equilibrium as a function of gamma at the end of the class, right? So, we will try to do the same exercise, but for the pressure. So, and we will pick the longitudinal pr uh, pressure. So it's PL is RL times P equilibrium as a function of gamma. This is the last I guess equation he derived. So we will try to do the same exercise here. Now to give you some hints. Uh, so E was DP E squared, right? or B zero squared times the distribution function. In this form. What? Uh, yes, sorry, 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 yes, yes. So PL is similar but with PZ squared as the argument times the distribution function itself, similarly. Again, dp is 1 over 2 pi, 1 over p0. E or just P. Maybe put it E to be uh, more clear. <laughs> What's the question? Which differential? Yes, DP, DP is just, uh, uh, okay, sorry.
Again, in the conformal case, P equilibrium is just Yes. So we'll get similar integral like the one Mike showed in the in, in, in class. So E equilibrium is T to power four over two pi squared. Now, if E equilibrium or, or P equilibrium is a function of this lambda, then just to change the temperature. <laughs> what happened to what? This one? Okay. So it's, it's t to power four, right, in the equilibrium. Do we agree? But today I think in, in the lecture, Mike wrote the energy in terms, so it's the same expression, but just replacing, it's the same form of the integral, except it's not t to power four, it's just gamma to power four, yes. Uh, which one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, no, these are dimensionless. We took the dimensions. Yes. We did some rescaling today. We did. So P here, sorry. We should call it hat, maybe. So p hat is just p over lambda, or p over t, in this case. Because you can see here, there's some scaling here. So which change the scaling? So this is just a number, OK? This is just a number. If I remember correctly, I think it's six or something. You can do that. I think it's just some number. I think, I'm not sure. Six, okay, so just number. So P is P over T. Now in this case, as Mike did in class today, so P transverse is P T over lambda. Okay? P Z is P Z over lambda times one plus K C. So by changing variable, you can see PZ times one plus KC. Uh, under the square root, right? So this is PZ, then D, PZ equal what? Square root of one plus KC over lambda times DPZ. That's why you get, if it's T, you'll get T to power four here. If it's gamma, then you'll get Is 
Is it clear by now you can follow the steps or? I think that's all what you need to change the variables here. And then find R L as a function of C. And then you will find another form which is just that's just the P equilibrium. P over three. Here? No, this is the equilibrium case, because C is zero. This is the equilibrium case. So I assumed you followed in the lecture, so that's why I jumped right away, so I should have done it step by. So this is the equilibrium. In the equilibrium, C is zero, and this scale is just the temperature in equilibrium. So we have like three minutes, so let's do it together. Maybe keep this. So PL, so one over two pi cubed is outside, okay? And then d cubed p, p z squared over p times the distribution Okay, so by changing variable, here we have dpx, dpy, dpz, okay? px, py will just pick a factor of, of gamma. So we'll have three coming from this. And this is gamma squared over gamma, so one gamma, so it will be two power four. And dpz is gamma, so it's here already, over one plus kc, okay? And then d cube p, the scaled one hat, so let's call it. And then PZ squared, which is P squared, right? Cosine square theta over P T squared is the same, right? So it's P squared sine square theta plus Pz squared is uh, here. P squared cosine squared theta over one plus kc. Right? So we can take this as a common factor. 
that will take one of these. And then the integral becomes, the integral over d phi is just 2 pi, right? The integral over theta Then we have cosine squared theta. And then sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over the square root of 1 plus cosine. And then we lift up with p cubed. P cubed, dp, p cubed, and the distribution function right now in terms of this p hat. Now, to, to simplify this, as Mike did today, just take u to be cosine theta. So du is just minus sine theta d theta. And this becomes minus 1 to 1 du, and then uh, u squared, right, over 1 minus u squared, like what's been done in the lecture. And you will see that one part depends on C, the other part is similar to the energy density. Divide by 3, multiply by 3 somehow, and then the p equilibrium will be then the p equilibrium will be 1 over 3. Now, in terms of this scale, 2 pi squared So this is the P equilibrium, and then RL will be 3, because we divided it by 3 to make it in the form of the pressure, times 2, 1 plus Kc, 3 halves, and then the du integral. Again, this is not 1 plus. This is a 3 halves. 1 coming from dpz, and the other one is coming from pz. So it's a 3 halves. Any questions? So you will find in the energy, uh, in the notes, the energy density has been done in steps. Try to do it for PL and also for PT. It's the same uh, method, almost, but just different factors and different. Any questions? Yes. Uh, no, I think PL. In the in the conformal limit, E is just uh, P is just E over three equilibrium, right? Uh, uh, e over three, right? So 
Well, I think I think. Yeah, try that. I think yes. I think yeah, the same thing should happen, I guess. It should be the same. Any questions? Uh, I think yes. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. So it's one plus KC, right? Yeah, if you squared this one, that's PZ squared one plus KC. Which is here. So th this is about, uh, you know, PZ squared. So it should be one plus KC, not the square root. But the single one, PZ, is what I call the square root of one plus KC PZ. So if you squared that, yes, then it's one plus KC, yes. Any other questions? So. Try to do them. If you have any questions, ask me at any time. So now I think the break.